Hey, yo, what is going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna be going over how to create a five minute server with the Iceline hosting game panel. Now I know I made a video about this on the past, but this is going to be a new and updated video since they have updated their game panel recently. Now I just want to show you guys how to create a server start to finish with Iceline. It should only take about 20 minutes, so sit back, relax, and if you'd like to follow along, all the links that you're gonna need will be in the description below. All right, guys. So. This is going to be the start to my new video schedule. I'll be uploading every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So if you want to get notified when I upload, make sure to hit that subscribe button and click that bell icon. Also, if you find this helpful, leave a like. All right. So the first link you're going to need is iceline-hosting.com or iceline.host slash shorten2139. Either one works. Both of those will be linked down below. Simply click on that, then go to game hosting. Then all you want to do is go to view all games and then select server hosting for 5M. Once you're here, you can select how many slots you want. Now, this number of slots is actually going to determine the amount of hardware that you get for your server. So as you can see, if I have 32 slots, I get 4 gigs of RAM and 25 gigs of storage. But now if I select 40, I get 5 gigs of RAM and 30 gigs of storage. So just select this accordingly for your community and what you feel would be a good fit for your community. For this, I'm only going to go with 32 slots. I'm going to click on purchase. And it comes out to be about 67 cents per slot, meaning I'm going to pay about $21.44 per month. Now, if you go for a quarterly, semi-annually, or annually, you will save money. You'll save 5 10 and 20% respectively. Now, once you're here, you can also select your location for the server. In my case, I'm going to select Virginia, since I know that's my closest data center. I'm going to get the best ping out of Virginia. Now, if you do want to just double check the slots, you could do that here, get some cloud backup so you have some extra storage to back your server up with, and if you'd like to get that extreme CPU performance, get that little extra out of your CPU. If you feel that you're going to need any extra RAM, you could also select some extra RAM up to 16 gigabytes. And now we're going to move on to the additional required information. Here you're just going to put in your server name. This is going to be how it's going to appear on the server list. So I'm just going to call this Iceline Hosting Test Server. And then the next uh, thing here is going to be the 5M Patreon required. This simply just wants you to acknowledge that if you want a server over 32 slots, you're going to need to subscribe to the 5M Patreon. We'll cover more of this in later in the video. So all you got to do is just click I understand. And now you can see some additional services. You can get the Tebex 30 day free trial, the installation of five scripts, or the premium, the performance booster high CPU priority. This is going to give you that little extra on top of the extreme performance out of your CPU. I would highly recommend this. It really does help out your server. But for this video, I'm not going to select any of these. I'm simply just going to click on continue with what I have selected. All right, now that I'm in billing, you're going to see that it prompts you to just to give a quick overview, basically like, almost like your receipt so you can see everything that you're going to purchase. And you can put in a promo code. For this promo code, you could use code JORDAN2139, get 15% off your bill. So, great promo code, save some money, and help me out as well. So, once you do that, you can just click checkout. I'm not going to click checkout since I already have a service with them. I just want to show you how to purchase your server. So, now once you have your server purchased, you let it start up. You're going to go to, go to game.iceline.host. This is their new game panel. When you first go to this web page, you're going to be met with uh, your services. For me, I only have one. It's the 5M server. So all you want to do is just click on the name, and then you're going to be met with the server console, file manager, mods, databases, schedules, users, backups, network, startup, subdomain, transfer, staff request, log, and settings. Because I know this might be a lot, but really, we only need to use a few of these. So... This is what we call the game panel here. So the console is just going to be a live console of your server. The file manager is where you could view all the files that are going on in your server, but you also can create an SFTP connection. We'll do that in a little bit here. You could see mods if you want to just drag a mod in. Nice and easy. Um, also, they do have the mod manager as well, where you can go in here and select some of the pre select some of the pre-installers. All you got to do is just click install and it'll add it in. Um, databases, you do get one free database, so it, that would be seen right here. You could view your password or go right to direct uh, go right to the PHP My Admin. Schedules, so you could like create a schedule to restart your server. 
This is where you could edit the users. As you could see, there's a few users on here. Um, this is how you could add a sub user and allow them to do certain things on your server. Uh, backups of your server, uh, you'll see that they're created right here. Network will be your host name and ports. Your startup parameters is what we're actually be working with right now. Um, this is where we're going to put in our license key, our host name, and a few other peripherals for our server. Your subdomain, if you have, would like to use a subdomain, you can. And we have transfer, if you'd like to transfer your server to a different area. As you can see, the pings are shown here. Um, staff requests, this is if staff needs to access your server for any reason. You can see a full list of logs. You'll see I've restarted the server and reinstalled it a few times. And you'll see your settings for SFTP as well as the server name for you. And you can reinstall it, only reinstall it if you want to basically restart your server. It's going to reset your server rather. It's going to reset everything and bring it back to uh, factory settings as if it was brand new. So for our case here, I'm going to go to startup and I'm now I need to create a 5M license key. You can get this at keymaster.5m.net, which I happen to have open right here. When you go to this web page, you're going to get met with a sign that, with a screen that says you need to sign in. I'm going to click on sign in here. And you're going to see I have some keys made, but I still can register one. All you got to do is just click register up top here. And now there's going to be some things you're going to need for this. So you kind of just got to jump back and forth. So for the label, I'm just going to label this test server. This is just for you so you know what the server is. The server IP address can be found if you go to your network. All you got to do is just click, it'll copy it as you see in the bottom right here. Then the server type, click other, and then at this point, it really doesn't matter. You could just type in just random things. One thing, just do not type Iceland hosting or your server may not work. So once you do this, just click on I am not a robot, click generate, and now I've generated a license key for this server. Now you're going to see the initial IP right here. Then the key, all you want to do is just copy that key. And then go right back into startup, paste that right in there. And then it auto saves as you paste it. So now server host name by default is my new FX server. I'm just going to call this Jordan2139 video server. Now as you guys can see at the top there, it's constantly saving as I type every single letter. So now one other, so we're going to go through a few other things in here. Now we have one sync infinity. So this is whether you'd like to enable one sync infinity or not. This is going to require the 5M Patreon key that we talked about earlier. Your Steam Web API key is some scripts will require it. I'd recommend setting that up at steamcommunity.com slash dev slash API key. Um, also seen right here. Your max players for right now cannot be upped because we don't have a... Uh, a Patreon license, um, whether you'd like to turn on one sync uh, regularly or not, um, one sync beyond, and then what 5M version you'd like. All you have to do is just enter the number of the, well, enter like the version number that can be seen right at this URL here. I'm just going to keep it at latest though. So now you probably hear me talking about this 5M Patreon key a lot. And the way the 5M Patreon works is if you go to patreon.com slash 5M, you'll be able to see some of their membership levels. So for the, the one where it really starts to, you know, get some good things going on here is it's called Argentum or the little silver disc right here. It's $19.50 a month and this allows you to have a 64 slot server with one sync and it allows you to use EUP. If you want to learn how to install EUP, check out my video linked down below on installing EUP. It also allows you to use colors in your server's name, which I, I think it's pretty cool. Um, of course, you can buy a higher tier as well. You get a little bit more, such as being able to have up to 1,024 slots um, and other things like that. But if you're looking to just get the bare minimum of what you need to also be able to have 64 slots, Argentum's where it's at. But I'm not going to subscribe to that because I don't have any need for it. So my, my startup parameters have saved. So now all you got to do is just go back to your console here and you could start up your server. The first startup may take a second because it has to pull all the original files that it needs. Um, you're gonna see a lot of stuff be printed in your console. Don't worry about that. All you have to worry about is uh, is whether it authenticates license key or not, which it's doing right here. 
give it a second. Like I said, it can take it can take a little bit for the first server startup just because it has to get itself all situated and ready to go here. But you could also see all of your statistics for the server as well up here, how many players online, your CPU usage, your RAM usage, and your disk usage. So now my server has been marked as running and you're gonna see that I have the little CFX re thing here, meaning that my server is now online. Um, you can also see it's authenticated with Nucleus at this URL right here. So my server's online, I can join it. Before I join it, I do wanna add a few things to it. One thing being vMenu. Um, now you could also add ESX, but I'm gonna add vMenu. Actually, I will add both. Um, I'll show you guys how to do both, just so we can also see the database. So we're gonna to go to the mods, and we're gonna just use some pre-installers here because I think it's this is about the easiest way to install anything because it installs it for you. So here we're gonna do ESX v1 pre-installer. All you gotta do is just go in here, click install. This mod may overwrite files in your database table or database tables. Just just click install mod. Give it a second to install itself. And once it's done installing, you're going to see that we have now had this installed. Give it a second. And it might just take a little bit to do its thing. You can also uninstall the mod quite easy by just coming back here whenever you want and uninstall it if you don't want to have to delete through your files. But if we go to File Manager, you're going to see the ESXv1 SQL. If we go into Resources, you're now going to see the ESX folder with all the ESX stuff in it. This is the easiest way to set up an ESX server, guys. It comes with everything you could possibly need to start your ESX server. Super helpful, just overall amazing. So now as well, it's also going to go into the server CFG and it's going to set everything you need in here so that you don't have to worry about this because there's a lot of stuff in here that you'd have to write in, but they write it all for you guys. That's the greatest part about Iceline. They do it all for you. You don't have to do anything. This is why I this Iceline is the tried and true host when it comes to 5M because they do everything for you. It's just, it's amazing. Super fast to set up your server. So now all you're gonna have to do at this point is you just got one thing left to do and that's go to your database. All you gotta do is just click on these little three stacked things. It's gonna be your PHP my admin. Then your username is going to be the database username shown here. All you gotta do is just click and it'll copy. And then your password You'll see right here. Now, obviously, I'm going to reset my password after this, but you see your password right there. Just paste that right in there, and it's going to open you up. So now, what you want to go to once you get in here is you're going to want to go to the S2039 underscore DB1. And you're going to see that it actually installed everything for you. It installed all of the tables that you're going to need in your database. So you're ready to go with your server. You're ready to rock. ESX is installed. You are ready to go. Now say that you want to uninstall ESX. You know, you're saying, okay, I've had enough of ESX. I want to move on to a vMenu server now. Just come back in here, click uninstall. Now you have to type the name. I'm just simply gonna copy this from up here and paste it in there, but you can copy, you can just type it out as well. So now that you've done that, so let's have that uninstalled. We can just head over to file manager here. You're gonna see that there's no longer the uh, so there's no longer the uh, the SQL file, and there's no longer any ESX files in here. Now, if you go into your database, you are going to have to remove all these uh, all these columns and tables in here, as well as in your server CFG. Uh, Iceland just doesn't want to touch your server CFG, just in case you know you have some things in here. So all you gotta do is just go through, just you know, just boom, all gone. Um, just that easy. Um, so now all you gotta do is click Save Content here and go to your mods folder and install vMenu. You're gonna install the mod for vMenu. vMenu is much easier, it's a standalone, just installs, no database required, just goes. So if we got a file manager here, if we go into resource, you're gonna see I have vMenu right there, ready to go. Now vMenu, you could configure it, see my video on how to set up vMenu with Discord Ace Perms for a more in-depth tutorial on installing vMenu. So now, you know, I, I'm sure you're saying to yourself, what if I wanna install mods that aren't in here? That's very simple. All you have to do is go to settings and you're going to see SFTP details. Click on launch SFTP and over here it has just launched my WinSCP. You can also use files though. I just prefer WinSCP personally. So now it just sets everything up for you or you could manually enter these if you choose. Then your password is your account password for Iceline billing area. 
Once again, that's the account password for the Iceline billing area. Do not forget that that's your password for your F for your SFTP. So I'm going to type in my password and it's going to let me write in. Now you'll see here, I have just a blank server with the mini installed. That's it. You could just go through here, drop in the files that you need to drop in, make sure to start on your CFG, just really basic stuff for 5M, and you'll be ready to rock, guys. So now you've created your server using Iceland Hosting. Just minimize this, go to your console here, and I'm just going to click restart now. I'm going to restart my server, it'll take a few seconds to restart. Then you'll be ready to rock. Um, I'll show you in console how you to know if scripts are actually starting or not, um, how things are working. So you're just gonna let it restart. It's gonna stop itself, then quit its cache and restart it again. But it's really just that easy, guys. You're ready to rock now with the Iceline hosting. Super fast, less than 20 minutes, get an entire 5M server up, ready to go, people ready to play on it, guys. Super, super, super easy. All right, here we go. Now it's restarting. Don't worry about all these errors here. That's nothing for you. That's just, that it's just working perfectly fine. And you can also see that I'm just ready to go now. So now all we gotta do is just jump in game and play. Uh, to get your server IP address, just go to network, copy that, copy the port, and then you're, all you gotta do is just type that in like this, 30125. That's how you wanna copy your IP address. You know, give everybody, just be able to connect to the server. Or you could also use this right here, as you see the FR, up there all you gotta do is just paste that in it'll also allow you to connect and you'll be ready to rock guys you just created a 5m server using iceland hosting congratulations and i hope you enjoy your 5m journey if you need any other help with 5m assets check out my pre previous videos they'll all be linked down in the description below it's on a nice uh playlist for you guys to watch and if you need any more help go check out iceland's discord or you can go check out rocket development for some help there also some great premium scripts over rocket development if you did find this helpful, make sure to leave a like rating on the video, leave a comment, tell me how helpful it was. And I check my comments, guys. I respond to all my comments. If you have any issues, you could throw them in the comments as well. I respond, I read them, I'm active on here. So just let me know, guys. I really do hope this was helpful and I hope you guys did enjoy this video. And I'll see you guys on Friday with the new video and a stream, guys. Anyway, have a great day, and I hope you guys did enjoy. Yeah, yeah, I've been running and running to keep it a hundred. It's all that I wanted, but lately I don't get the stomach. The higher the summit, the harder the plummet. They know me all over this planet.